Apparently, yes. Kenshi was made by one dude, as far as I know, who was, I think, trapped himself in his house for a year. Oh, God. Yes. So, everyone ready for Kenshi? Also, hello, Rain. Sure. She's not speaking. She's Hi, broke. Hi, so weird. <laughs> People, Seth here. Hello. I tried to get your attention in my call, but you, you didn't answer me. I figured that's what it was. Yeah, we kind of that's figured that was it. That's fine, don't worry. Anyway, Kenshi. Bring an educational game about the harsh realities of post-apocalyptic society. A game what? where you can be anything you want to be, do anything you want to do. As uh -oh. long as all the things you want to do are extremely illegal, morally dubious, and outright sadistic. Sounds like the perfect game for Platy. Yeah, no, it's every crazy person's uh, dream game. <laughs> Yeah, and <laughs> for, those, for those who don't know, we know a platypus VTuber who is kind of crazy and all right, and keeps yes. trying to steal my fridge. Like, not the things inside my fridge, just my fridge. He wants to turn man. it into a robot soon, man, but you won't let him. And I will never let him, because I need my fridge. He will be more he'll be more advanced, though. I it's don't... Problem. It wouldn't work as a fridge fable anymore. It would. Anyway, moving forward. I would like to imagine he wants. just makes a giant freaking robot out of a refrigerator that, like, every time you want something, he just opens up his chest and grabs it out for you. Yeah, but okay. Mech doesn't want to imagine that for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, either moving you on. Cook you, suck out your organs or peel off your skin, and everything wants to either eat you, cook okay. you, suck out your organs or peel off your skin, and Ugh. use it as a rug. A game where Ugh. being forced into slavery is considered a good outcome compared to having your arms and legs eaten off by a pack of giraffes. What I'm the talking, hell? of course, about Kenshi. Kenshi takes place in a world that has been plunged into a technological dark age after okay. an unknown disaster annihilated modern society and now everyone's right. back to using straw hats and katanas kenshi is actually the canonical sequel it sounds like an old ronin movie or old western to battle realms what we theorize how feudal china ended up looking like this but the popular opinion is that after endless droughts and famine, what? the lack of easily available rice and water which are the two elements needed to form a chinaman led what to the fuck said <laughs> of rapid population what the hell decline, seeing that china Net was Mac. at its <laughs> what the fuck Mac, let me let me give you a quick overview of the lore they're okay. not on earth they're on a different planet entirely what happened is that's not wrong he, uh, humanity, like, basically the... He's um, not wrong? The no, he's not wrong about the technology part. It's not the Chinaman thing. That's just him being weird. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, the whole point is humanity was colonizing a different planet. There was a... There was a highly advanced race of robotic beings that were close to gods that gave them enough... Um, that gave them enough technology advance everything to succeed but then for some reason a uh, a plague happened and now they're stuck on a desert planet there's okay. different races there's humanity there's robots there's bug people that work in the okay. strange hive mind sense kind of thing just okay. imagine just imagine what would happen if we were given the ability to travel through space try to colonize a new planet but because of a a technology blackout we're stuck trying to basically rebuild we're, we're, stuck well, we're here, doing it yeah. in the worst way possible yeah, yeah. there is actually uh, okay. a holy city there is a holy nation that's trying to keep it together there's bandits there's giant mutated uh monsters it's it's pretty much just that in a nutshell okay oh okay yeah that's the pretty much the overview of the lore what the hell? Like the invaded, and the rest there. is history. What the fuck China is? Was at its weakest. The what the? Australians invaded. What? And the history. rest is history. What Can the hell? Plays like some strange hybrid of Mountain Blade, Jagged Alliance, and Def Jam fight for New York. After what the fuck? Cannot... I like the idea of really Jag... Def Jam. Yeah, I like the idea of well, uh, Mountain Blade because I like leading my troops from the front and actually fighting with soldiers. I haven't so, played Jagged Alliance, but I really do want to. Do I know a fun fact about me as a kid? What? Uh -huh. I I used to play Death Jam Vendetta a lot as a kid <laughs> for the PS2. 
It was such a fun game, damn it. Oh my God. I don't it's know like why it was so fun, but it was fun, and I liked the music in it. All right, then. It's finally here, featuring drug trafficking, human trafficking, Whoa. and giant enemy crabs. <laughs> Kenshi, it's got uh. it all. To begin, you need to choose from one of 13 different drug starting scenarios. Human you can trafficking. Mm. All the trafficking. Apparently, or is anything from a nameless vagabond, a, a traitor exactly. with connections and money to spare, or even a guy who's hit rock bottom? No money, no food, and oh. no masturbation. The character you start with can be fully okay. customized. Huh. You can start as a human, a shek man, a bug man, or a skelly man, which all have their own respective perks and penalties. Humans are, huh. of course, good at everything, but you know what they're not good at? Surviving acid rain, or swimming in acid, or getting too close to one of these. What the fuck? Bug men are exceptional. At losing limbs and that is a firestorm. Capturing... That's what that is. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. It's literally a solar firestorm. Well, then. Slaves? No, they're good at being mm -hmm. slaves. Checks are good at. Are okay. they good at capturing slaves? No, they're good at being slaves. Chefs oh. are good at fighting. They're not good at reasoning, critical oh. thinking, and having oh, any then. sort of long-term planning. Skelly men are better at everything, which is why everyone's afraid of them. They're also probably responsible for destroying the world. Being oh. perfect comes at a price. Yes. You can't heal. Yes, they you are. need repairs instead, and good oh. luck finding a mechanic in the desert. However, yeah, the character you start with isn't special. They've got stats and skills like everyone else. They can okay. also permanently die like everyone else a game of kenshi only truly ends when all of your characters are six feet under there's no real objective in kenshi that objective can be whatever you want it to be just like getting bullied in high school the core philosophy of kenshi is get your shit kicked in and get stronger survive and fight another day once okay. you get into your first i wish there were more games like this where you could kind of just do whatever you want but had like a xcom turn-based thing yeah, it's pretty much it. You can, can't you? Like I said, it's a dream for everyone, like for crazy people, because you can be whatever you want. You could start off as a traitor, turn bandit king, or for some god only reason, you could be a traitor that went to the holy nation, said, said the leader disrespected you, and just completely destroyed from the inside out, because the game allows you to. Huh. I've watched, You'll I've watched so many videos of this one dude. He, it's, it was stupid. It was <laughs> funny, but mean, stupid. I can tell. It uses a limb-based physics system oh, to determine cool. whether attacks actually connect, and you don't yeah, die out. No, uh, at one point, he appeared, at one point, one of the videos was him apparently trying to conquer a bunch of bandits, and and because he added mods, he he basically created the um the revolutionary army that had laser guns, but then they de-evolved to have muskets. What the fuck? How do you go from laser guns to muskets? <laughs> I don't it's such know. a downgrade, too. It's horrible, man. This game is insane. Too much damage, forcing you to crawl on the ground or fight the with hell? a broken arm as your broken appendages flail around fuck? helplessly. If you spill out too much blood or intestines, you'll collapse unconscious instead. You can still okay. wake up from a trauma and bandage yourself together or rely on the help of allies to pop oh. your bones back in place and carry you to relative safety. Nice. However, take too much damage in a short span of time and you might permanently lose an arm or a leg. If that happens, you can install prosthetic limbs, Ooh. but having a bucket instead of a foot isn't exactly ideal. So hold on to those. But if your organs take too much damage, don't worry about prosthetics because oh. you're already fucking dead. All that's oh, left is to strip you down and chuck you in the furnace because cremation is a far safer solution than letting uh, your corpse uh, fume up and way, attract the bone dogs. By the way, something Seth kind of uh, not letting you know, there is a skill you need for medicine checks. So oh. if your skill's really high, you'll be able to heal, your, heal yourself. If it's extremely low, you can do more harm than good. Oh, wow. That sounds terrible. It's skill based stuff. There are if you want to build a certain class, you do need skills in certain stuff to do things. That's kind of what he's refusing to say. So yeah. when he said to heal yourself, you have to have a decent amount. If not, you'll basically cause your character to bleed out. Oh. I okay. I was one of the videos too. It was really stupid. 
Mm -hmm. Remember I said combat uses physics? Because understanding that is extremely important. Characters make oh. different swings and motions with different weapons, which Makes also sense. change as you get more experience. If a swing physically connects with an enemy, it counts as a hit. Not only that, if there were, let's say, three enemies standing closely packed together, they'll all get cut by the same swing. Basically, I'm telling you that if you want to die very quickly, gang up on an enemy, because oh. that's a great idea. He'll take a single broad horizontal swing and decapitate your entire team. It's oh, wow. Have characters duel each enemy or try and overwhelm them with a variety of attacks. You can even do some crazy micro and make your characters manually evade attacks while everyone else flanks them from the side. Combat is oh. really fucking good. It's responsive and only gets more entertaining as you cool. get the hang of it. In the beginning, you're cool. nothing but a walking sack of rice weed. By the end, you're still a walking sack of rice weed, but hey, you can stage dive leviathans like a baller. What the hell? Only one of many things you do in Kenshi. Funk. It's a means to an end, and achieving any of your goals requires money. Money, money. buys you food, equipment, protection, and companions. You can't get anywhere without it, but you can't get it anywhere for free. To make money, mm -hmm. we need to explore, see beautiful and bizarre places with our own sets of risks okay. and challenges, such as oh. dust storms, gas clouds, flesh-eating cannibals, oh. flesh-eating spiders, Ew. lack of water, too much water, and this. I don't recommend stepping into one of these, but they can outrun any character, so the only real way of dodging them is by getting out of the way yeah, very quickly, makes... or by traveling at night. Luckily, they're not as dangerous once they fall out of the sky. Besides what? all the different places that can get you killed, there's a lot of interesting people to meet throughout the world. Hey, okay. I oh, think what I've the... had enough Ugh. of Kenshi for today. Actually, turns out they're completely friendly. They just need some help peeling potatoes. Unfortunately, it turned out I was the potato, and oh, my no. limbs have to be peeled off. I can conclusively say this is probably the most effective weight loss plan I've ever seen in my life. Uh. There's a lot of effect. There's a reason people don't trust the skeletons. What the fuck was that? Those were skeletons. The, he calls them skeletons, but they're actually robots. They they basically were one of the race created by the celestial like giant robots that fix the worlds and stuff. But mm -hmm. apparently, a lot of people believe they're the ones that destroyed the world, which is which is kind of not wrong, but it's not true either. It's the whole lore states is very confusing. It's very hearsay. It's it's up to you to believe what you want to believe on who or who or what destroyed the world. Makes sense. But yeah, He's the robots that was, basically he found the cannibal tribe of robots. Uh, if you can call them bandits. Cannibal. I mean skin bandits. Uh. And once you meet them, you'll realize yeah. they're even worse. You can interact oh. with them, help them, and even pledge allegiance to their cause. Or oh. you can kidnap them and execute their leaders, forcing them to crumble and or the lack of leadership. Wow, better, is he wrestling move out. all of them? Holy sh- he just punched off all their arms. Or vacuum leads to rival yeah, factions taking it. over and potentially expanding. Is incredibly strong for some reason. Across the world, Kenshi lets you do that. It even encourages you to do that. Sooner or later, your nomadic lifestyle of running from city to city will get old. Why pay for methanol poisoning when we can make our own? Why suffer the daily struggle when we can grow our own weed and process it into soft, sticky mounds of hash, which will smuggle the into hell, the United Seth? Cities using Amazon Prime? Here's Hobbs demonstrating our one-day Prime delivery option. He's currently sneaking past the border at a comfortable land speed of 26 miles per hour. Ah. The guards don't even see him. If they do, they'll pretend they didn't. Intimidated by the man Naruto running through their gates with over 50 kilos of solid hash on his back. What As you fuck? probably figured out, you can make your own outpost. At the start, it won't be anything special and you'll be barely scraping by to survive. But okay. once you get some research and technology going, you'll be on your way to establishing a thriving city. Provided you don't get murdered, robbed, or eaten while doing so. Mm. Setting up an outpost changes the game completely. You now have a place to live, but everyone cool. wants to take what they can't have, and they will, unless your defenses hold up. Each region has its okay. own set of wildlife and factions that will try and ruin your day. In my case, I set up in the desert. The soil sucked, the crops didn't grow, but at least I was only under attack every day by four different factions. Starving what bandits kept coming to beg for food. They got a free bolt in the mouth instead. The dust <laughs> bandits just wanted to kill us. At least they were <laughs> 
honest about it. The Shex kept asking for a good clean fight, so I walled myself off and turned them into pin cushions. The Black Dragon Ninjas? Black Dragon Ninjas can go fuck themselves. We're suffering our second famine this season, and it's all because a pack of weeaboos with pin hats keep dabbing away with our bread baskets. And you <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you know uh, what? By the way, if I remember right, the Shek is uh, the bud people that, that kind of have a weird hive mind thing going on. Oh. Yeah, I think that's the that's the fashion. Oh, it's interesting. Aren't even the worst part. Oh it was Sunday's Kenshi, where every Sunday is prayer day, and you what? don't want to skip out on prayer day. Oh, you missed your Bible. Don't worry, this one's on me. Oh, you can't make prayer day because you're in a coma from severe head trauma? I literally do not give a shit. I don't care if there's enemies bashing at your gates. You raise those shit right now, and I'm giving you to the count of five to come pray to our lord and savior, Okran. If you don't come out right now, I'm gonna burn this place to the ground and kill every blasphemous pagan who takes the name of the lord in vain. And we're gonna do this every Sunday. Prayer day is the best goddamn the day. Fuck? Unlike those lazy Preachers in real the life, the nation. Holy Nation priests. What? There's a faction called the Holy Nation. Oh dear. They personally travel all the it's way the to your It's the biggest base. one in the in the game so far. Oh no. Together with their faithful team of heavily armed paladins, and I don't oh. recommend making them upset. If you can survive all of that, having an outpost lets you really expand on your options. You can even assign people to tasks and functions using cool. an automated job system, and essentially sit back while they generate money and get stuck on terrain. After securing a stable source of food, you naturally want more people to eat it. If that doesn't okay. work, buy yourself a couple of animals. They'll eat through your survival rations in no time. Animals are a mixed blessing, so I've arranged them in order of usefulness. Okay. Goats, which are walking sacks of meat. Bone dogs, which are the body cleanup crews of Kenshi. Very cute. Aww. I recommend getting a pack of them just to watch them play fetch cute. with each other. There's also garus and what bulls, which are walking sacks of storage space and absolutely essential for trading what and carrying all of your stolen ceramic bowls. And finally, there's crabs, which are objectively the greatest animals for both land-based and naval combat. Mm -hmm. oh. Real combat. Funny, Seth. Now, show me a squad of them. I admit, I got really uncreative with naming them after the first dozen or so. They're not even limited to a single outpost. I just say, get to work, SpongeBob. Wherever you yeah. want. Just be prepared for the consequences once Crab people... controller. <laughs> I'll start to take notice. From there, the world is your oyster, and it's waiting to be devoured by your legions of domesticated crustaceans. Your oh. characters don't even have to be in the same region as each other. The game keeps track of everything in real time, no matter where they are on the map. You can send cool. squads and expeditions out into the wild while your peasants work for life. Unfortunately, in Mountain Blade, you can't do that. You only get one character. It's kind of annoying away in your sweatshops and you sort of have to as well you can't unlock any of the later research trees without plundering the remains of ancient civilization so you can finally harness the ancient secrets of eggplant hydroponics Kenshi is a wonderful bizarre and at times absolutely brutal game with a completely unique setting. i'd like this it's kind of game in some sort of metal gear solid universe where i can do stuff like that with play, an and XCOM i've system. enjoyed watching my life of spiral combat. out of control as i feed my new found addiction. I of course give it the biggest score and my highest recommendation. I give it 250 stacks of wheat straw over the insane fucking attack range of blood spiders. What the Seriously, hell? Look at that shit. Luckily, you don't have to deal with it. Kenshi is extremely mod friendly and most of the issues Whoa. you have in the game can be easily fixed through modding. I've attached my mod list in the <laughs> description below and yeah. it should contain the bare essentials to improve gameplay without significantly You can probably turn it into an anime now, fighter in this. Me, I have a lot of potatoes to peel, but don't worry, I've got a lot of free time. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Also, it's earlier this month, I made what a shitty fuck? website introducing <laughs> SethSeenTech.com. It's hot garbage, but it's also got links to all my videos, especially the banned ones. Come check it out. A oh. warm thanks to the many members Dope. of the Merchants Guild, generously like funding Dope. and bankrolling yeah. these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. What the hell? Yeah. Oh. This game yeah, looks insane. 
It is insane, and it's pretty much a open world decide what you want to do thing. You can literally make a character do trade, set up an empire, and be done with it. It has no ending because there is no ending. It's just up to you to decide when the ending comes. I'm going to just move this just in case, but yeah, he's just having a... Is that a mecha arm he has while punching these people? Yeah, that's a prosthetic. What the hell? He's uh, all punching these fighting the bug people. Yes, he's yeah. fighting the bug people and punching them to death. Probably for the best. What do you mean? It depends on where he is. Because, <laughs> like, each faction <laughs> has their own set and goals. I think he's fighting bandits now. Yeah, he just, he's, he's going... I think he's trying to do the Fist of the North Star thing. There's one about a guy with no leg or arm. It's truly hilarious. What? Power of a god is now my secret. But yeah, I think he's doing a fist of the North Star thing. Cause he's just fucking drop kicking them. And Kenshi. Uh. I have a That's why I did o that's why I did over some of the bits, so I they usually give me a choice of muting it over on uh, YouTube, so we'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. That's true. It's like seeing oh him God. go crazy with this. Oh, one thing about Kenji, though. There's actually, uh, there's actually a There's actually a bit of a side quest away. where if you want to go after, like, bounties, you can. It's kind of interesting. What if I wanted to, to make a roving gang of mercenaries? You can. Oh. That's... Kenshi is open world, and when I mean open world, I truly mean it. You can be whatever you want to be. You can uh, hire a bunch of people and be like, alright, we're gonna go do mercenary stuff. I wish there were more games like that. Yeah, that's what makes this game so interesting. You can be whatever and have a great time because it <laughs> allows for a lot of creative freedom. He's buying another anime lady. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I... I do wish they were in different styles, you know, for different type of things. But, but yeah, I like the idea of that. Like, it's yeah, only I truly over when you decide it's over. Yeah, you can set a goal for yourself, or you can just literally meme. The one dude's videos I saw, he pretty much just made a lot of meme videos. <laughs> like, one time he wanted to make money being a doctor, but instead of being a good one, he... I think <laughs> he shit. either modded... He either modded or basically gave himself negative medicine that he would kill his patients. <laughs> he would kill his patients and steal their money. That's how he that's his entire role for that one character was basically unalive people and steal money from them and be uh, like, Well, this is how I'm making my money. LDP wants to know if you heard of the Tor Solo experience. It's apparently a Kenshi I, where a guy plays with no legs or arms. I have... To be honest, no, I don't think I've heard of that one. Well, either way, thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider following. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you guys later.